let's call this clean data so the first thing we want to check let's just check the survival rate the number of persons that survived and the number of persons that did not survive we we'll use a pivot table to create that so click on any point click on insert click on pivot table allow all this select data range new worksheets and we'll click on ok so in this point we need our index where we do all our calculations drag our index to give us a count of numbers 1309 correct then we we'll drag our survival rates down here so we have those that number of those that survived 809 did not survive and 500 survived we need to see this as a percentage of the whole so we we'll click on this and go to show value as and then show value percentage of column total so if looking at this you see that um, let's format this even further we just need only to one decimal place one decimal place okay so 61.8 percent survived and 38.2 percent did not survive let's represent this with a pie chart with a do not chart so we have this as our survival rate and we can also improve the look of this chart right click on the chart itself and then format data series let's use um, 60 to represent this okay good we don't need this so right click on this and then say hide all data points remove the total okay this gives us a percentage of those that survive against those that did not survive so we can name this as survival okay so for the next charts we want to see the effect of the class on the survival rate so we create a new chart let's go pivot charts and the first thing we just want to check we want to bring in index here and then we want to see the class of passengers okay and then let's, let's do a percentage of column total let's keep it at one decimal place okay you can quickly see if we filter this we we'll sort it from largest to smallest that 54 percent we had more persons from the low class that boarded this ship and then we have the high class and then the middle class we can also represent this using a a bar chart a pie chart the difference between these two will not be very clear so that is a bar chart a column chart so we don't need hide all this detail and hide all this detail and click on this we don't need the total we don't need this total so this is analysis by class the passengers class so we want to create another pivot simply copy this and come down here and paste and we click on this go to design go to analyze go to field list but we want to compare this with survival so drag survival to column and it will give us another clue now the only thing we need to do so the total in the low class we want to see the total low class so this is giving us the number of those that did not survive and number of those that survived so in this case we want to see the total in the low class we want to see what percentage survived and what percentage did not survive and we want to see the total here as a total of 100 so I click on it and let's summarize this as a percentage of the rows not the column so if we go now and create click a pivot chart so and since we want to compare the two let's use a line chart from largest to smallest um, okay so let's right click on this point and then say format axis so let's start it from 0 0.2 that is 20 percent okay so if we delete this and then if we delete the lines what do we have here it simply means this is our survivor so survival increases with respect to class and number of deaths reduces with respect to class so that means people in high class survived more 
and people in low class reduce more. So there's a direct relationship between the survival rate and the class. That's the insights, the first insights we're getting from this data. That means possibly those in the first class had to leave the ship first before those in the low class. We can look at it here that did not survive and survive. In the first class, 61% survived, 38 did not survive. In the middle class, it was around almost the same thing. Then in the low class, 25 survived and 75% did not survive. So mostly people in the first class survived. I want to check survival rates based on gender. So let's check based on gender. So we'll bring the index. Let's just check the gender distribution first. Okay, so sort this, um, show this as a percentage of column total and keep it at one decimal place. We had more of males in the ship compared to females. We had more of men to women that bothered the ship. Then, so let's copy this and create a second copy of it. Now, in this case, let's drag the survival to a new column. Let's look at it. And we're doing a percentage of the row total. Okay. So when seen as a percentage of the row total, what do we have? If we bring in a line chart. Okay, interesting. We have another direct relationship here. Let's look at it. We can reduce this by 10. So right click, go to format series. Let's start it from one. Okay. I'll remove this, click on this line to remove this. Right click here and hide all buttons. So we can see a direct relationship here that we have more of females that survived to male. Or let's let's do this. Let's use a let's change this chart. Let's use a column chart. Okay. So we can see here that we have more of females that survived, few of them that died. More of males that died, and only few that survived. That's another interesting thing. So, what does this mean? Possibly when the distress call came, what they said first was women should go first. That's another insight that we had more women that survived. So this is based on gender. We thought we want to check by age. The survival rates by age. So click on its pivots and then we'll click on OK. OK, let's look at the age distribution. So bring age to this and then bring the index here. OK, let's do a histogram. Let's see what this will look like. It will look more like a histogram. OK, so this is more like a histogram. So we delete this, we remove all points and we remove the lines and we remove the total and we also remove this. Okay, so quickly we can see that majority of the people that, that were on that ship were between the ages of 20 to 29. This is understandable. Also remember the mean was around 29 and the uh, mode was around 24 and the median was around 28. So we have a lot of concentration around it. So we had a lot of young people in this, that uh, were on this ship. Okay, we can also quickly change this to a percentage of the total. Okay. So reduce this to one decimal place. Okay, so let's copy this and then we come down here and let's see. So at this point, we drag survival rates to this, but now we use show value as percentage of row total. Okay, so when we have this and we we'll also use a chart. So what we have here, we can see that when it comes to children between zero and nine years, a lot of them survive. All the other ages, we now have a lot of uh survival the key parts is between those that are between zero and nine those that are between 80 and 80 89 they survive and we just have one person in this data point um rename by age 
so we have seen survival based on um, new class sex gender and age 